So whether you are a freelancer, run a small business, or are a content creator like me, in this tour, I'll show you some cool tricks for managing clients, contacts, and projects in Notion to make your life that little bit easier, even if you're just getting started. Hi everyone, it's Simon. So if you don't already know, I split my time between creating content for this channel, Better Creating, and freelancing as a theatre director. I don't act. Don't ask me to act. That means a lot of projects, a number of clients, and quite a lot of information that I have to keep track of. And you know what? Notion is what solved it for me. I hope that you can copy, steal, and get some inspiration from this, or just download all of it as part of my newly updated complete Notion templates that are available here, bettercreating.com forward slash downloads or on Gumroad. I want to show you how my contacts database that looks like this, split into uh, content contacts, business contacts, and personal contacts integrates with how I manage content projects with a financial tracker. And you're able to use these three elements of the complete Notion system to essentially be a CRM, to manage clients and relationships if you want to. It also links to my main projects dashboard because content channels for me, the things that link into this creator dashboard, the channels, are in fact projects that are just labeled as content channels and I use database um, templates to choose which one they are. So for freelance contracts or personal stuff like a bucket list or managing your finances, they're projects, but content channels are where I'm really doing more detailed work that might relate to say sponsors or uh, other collaborators. This is my home page. You'll see I've got a little inbox uh, for new contacts here, uh, which is just a linked database to that database if I want to do that. So if we go into the contact dashboard, there are fundamentals in here that I think you can really take away. So I've got a content contacts. This is for anyone related to the uh, creator dashboard. And you'll see I also have a view of it on that page. So this is where you might manage things like podcasts, digital products, uh, it could be blogs, it could be YouTube videos, um, but it allows me essentially a clear section within the contacts database to manage those things. And that's why I think it's most powerful because I can have reports on, for example, live brands that I'm working with. So if they have a um, live project, uh, what the, the projects are within the content creation database and whether I've invoiced them or been paid. So this is essentially a CRM uh, for creators. So this is my copy of the system and you'll see I've got live uh, collaborators that I'm currently looking at working with or working with and all of the contacts that I currently have in terms of sponsors are there. And then I've got also product review people that I've worked with. Um, you see, they've been reported as done, which is great. I've also got Notion one-to-ones because I'm starting to look at doing some consultancy. I'm not gonna show you other people's details there though. And then of course, there's also my business stuff and my personal stuff down the bottom, which I'm skimming over because it's, it's kind of private. This is all built around a main database. If I click through to it, I build everything in the database. We've got a name, uh, a contact type, which helps me filter it into the system and also build uh, template pages here um, for different types of contacts. Uh, there is a primary contact, first email, secondary contact, second email, uh, and a really important one for me is a little overview so that when you're looking at the database view, you're able to quickly um, get information on uh, whoever it is that you are looking at. And then I've got all the usual stuff I've put in there, phone, Instagram, Twitter, when we were first connected, that can be helpful. And then this is a reporting uh, formula, which is related to my content creation or my kind of project management system from products to, for me, videos. This is where it gets really cool, and I'll show you that in a moment. There you go, you can see the rest of it, addresses, websites, and then over here is all the back end, but what you'll see are different kind of roll-ups from the content creation system, relations which relate it to things like the content and the projects that you might be working on, and all of this stuff uh, reports on payments, it also reports on what contacts have linked to them, and it gives you a view for board or gallery views uh, to know exactly what's happening. So I manage my content creation within this co creator dashboard. Every single video I have created across digital products, YouTube videos, and shorts, they're all there. So if we say click on 
this video. You'll also see I'm linking client partners to it uh, and managing everything and the writing of it all within that template. If you want to know more, make sure to subscribe because I'll be giving you a full tour of how I manage all of my content creation in Notion in a future video. Let's now go through processing a client or a contact into the system, making a project with them, being paid and recording all of that into the system. So to add a new contact, I click on new. Why don't we call it um, Skillshare? Nice. And all I want to do is essentially pick a template here. These four content clients, different types, have different uh, uh, layouts within them to manage them. Uh, so for example, if I did a product review one, products received, the content related to it, any tasks I've linked to those projects, and a log for communication. And that just happens across all of them. So we're gonna click sponsorship, because Skillshare are a sponsor. Skill, that's quite hard to say. Skillshare are a sponsor. We could change the cover. And what I like to do personally is go to Google. I'm using Alfred here if you want to know that one. Drop it onto the upload, choose an image. This has added a uh, tag which then sorts it into the system. Now what's most exciting about this is that you then get tasks that are filtered by their relation to this contact. So if you link any tasks to this client, they will turn up there, fantastic. Content is the same. This is a view of the content uh, manager. Uh, filtered by the client being Skillshare. So everything that I relate to it will turn up in this area. Really cool. And I've got a communications log, which I've kept really simple. I've just created a kind of empty page for the first contact. What I'll normally do is put in the date, let's say uh, first email. Now you might have one more thought, which is it's all very well and good having the system, but it seems like a lot of work to input the contacts details. Well, I recommend you check out something called Bardeen. It's a, a new automation service that you can find online as a Google Chrome extension to kind of scrape data from people's contact details, whether that's off an email in your email inbox or whether that's off something like LinkedIn or Twitter, straight into Notion. Keep an eye out for a future video. Uh, you might want to check that one out. So let's say I'm going to now work with this contact, this client, uh, on a, a video. This is the work process I would go on. So you'll see currently there is no content project related to it. I'm going to go to my content creation dashboard and I'm going to add a new video idea. We're going to call it... I'm going to click in the same way that I do with contacts onto the new video template and basically gives me everything I need. Saves you loads of time automating everything. I'm going to say that it's booked. I'm going to say that it's going to be monetized and it's going to be a paid service because the client, by clicking on here, is Skillshare. And we click them. You can go check them out as well like that. So Skillshare are now connected. And let's put in an imaginary fee. Let's say that Skillshare were feeling incredibly generous and they paid me $100,000. And I'm gonna call this video two because it's video number two in my list. Now the most important thing here is to make the video live. By making it live, it says I'm making it. That's how I manage it. And by doing that, that will then update all of the contacts database with a report. So now we will see First of all, the video is in my live content feed. It's checked off here. And if I click through to Skillshare, you will see that it says now there is one live project. It has a status, not invoice for, and not currently being paid. Now that's all working with these formulas, which essentially check if you've ticked a box within the content creation system. If marked live is equal to zero, put in no content projects, otherwise select the content report, which is another formula. Don't worry about this too much, this is not a build video, it's more to show you how the system works. You'll see down here, we've also got the video, if I open this page, within the system now, there it is, and uh, you'll also see that there is income recorded, total related income is zero. So the next stages of this would be to make the video. Go back to the dashboard, let's say I finished it, it was published, say, on 20th, let's say it got to the 20th, uh, and I completed it. I would check it off as published using this chip check box here. There you go. Published, disappears, and you should notice now that if we go back to Skillshare, 
it now says that there are zero live projects and one project is being completed. Fantastic. Still not been paid though. So how do we manage the payment? Well, this is now linked into my financial tracker. Huh. So what I would do is simply put in new income. Let's call it Skillshare invoice. I'm going to call it 100,000. It's a sponsorship and I'm going to link it to Skillshare. There you go. Logged the income into my system. <laughs> we did well from Skillshare. So then if we go back into Skillshare, we've got the total related income and you should see here the Skillshare invoice is uh, linked. And all I need to now do is go, I've invoiced it and I have paid it. Now, when I click paid, this will change. One payment is currently due because I've invoiced now. I'm gonna click paid, nothing outstanding. So that's how it works. Check boxes within the content database. So for projects, I'm just linking um, income with the uh, financial tracker really, really simply at the moment, just by putting in, for example, I'm linking it to the, the client that's been invoiced. You could set up this whole reporting system that I have within the content creation system, but also for your uh, projects database. Make sure to go take a look at bettercreating.com forward slash downloads. Watch this video next to do more with your Notion workspace design and get your content organized. It would be great if you commented and make sure that subscribe button is clicked for more productivity and optimizing your creative life. See ya.